Hey, welcome back to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm Karen. Today's reading is this person's urgent love message to you. So what do they really, really want you to know right now? And if you would like a regular in-depth look into your life and what's coming up in your future, please subscribe to my channel, tap the bell icon and turn on the notification bell. So in today's reading, we have three sets of cards. Set of cards number one is the yellow crystal. Set of cards number two is the pink crystal. And set of cards number three is the green crystal. So take some time to tune into the energies of the cards. Relax, get comfortable and cozy. Take a few deep breaths if you need to. You can pause the video right now as well. And I'll leave a few quiet moments here too for you to really tune in and decide through your intuition which set of cards is resonating with you the most. Okay, so let's get into the reading. Welcome to set of cards number one. You've chosen the yellow crystal. So this reading is this person's urgent love message for you. What do they really, really need you to know right now? So we're going to look into the tarot. We've got lots of oracle cards, lots of messages cards, as well as pulling messages out of the bag and looking at the divination dice and the charms. So stay tuned because a lot of information is going to come through. Okay, so I can see that this person has really, really positive messages for you. We have the Six of Wands, the Two of Cups and the Fall. So these are really strong love energies coming from this person. The Six of Wands is saying that there's been struggles between you both and this person as an individual has been going through a lot of struggles. But this is victory after this adversity, victory after those obstacles or whatever this person had to fight for, fight through. Um, because this card, the Six of Wands, shows the uh, knight coming back to their town after being successful in battle. So they're like a hero and everyone's cheering them on. So this person has really faced their fears, faced whatever it was that they needed to overcome. I'm seeing all the sun symbols on here as well. That's the divine masculine energy. This is saying there's a bright new beginning. This person is much more in their confidence. Whenever I see a white horse, to me, it represents this person being on the path of their highest good. So what is this person moving towards? They're moving towards this two of cups. Sorry, this isn't the two of cups. I'm, I thought it was because they have cups, but this is actually the... No, it is the Two of Cups. Sorry, I'm getting really confused. This is the Two of Cups. Um, but the Lover's card in the traditional tarot shows this lion um, with the angelic wings. There's healing here within your connection. There's the corticus, or however that's pronounced. The healing symbol. This is you both coming back into harmony, into reunion, or into communication in some kind of way. Being on the same page, seeing eye to eye, having a lot of intimacy, a lot of connection, harmony, balance. And this is what they've they've been overcoming some issues in order to get to this place where they can truly be here for you because this actually looks like it could be the same person as well. Okay, so then we have the fall. This person's taken a leap of faith. This is the healing of the inner child. This is a brand new beginning, um, a restart, a rebirth within your connection. And again, this person is believing much more in the divine, having much more confidence to really go for it. It may be that it's finally the right divine timing in order for your connection to move forward. So let's look at some messages, cards, all of the written messages, cards in today's reading are my own creation. So what's that urgent message for you? Okay, so right now they are 
the hanged man. I'm pausing to get a bet a better look at things. So I feel this is the energy that you are moving into, but right now you may still not be hearing from this person, but it is because they are pausing to get a better perspective on life. The hanged man hangs himself upside down on purpose by the ankle in order to see things from a different angle. So this is about awakening as well. It may be that there was a pause, a separation between you, but now you're coming back together. What's their urgent message for you? That's too many cards. What do they really, really need you to know? Okay, so we have the Three of Pentacles. I want you to be so proud of me. So the Three of Pentacles is showing they're actually putting the work in. This is saying that they feel recognized in some way or they're recognizing their own worth. And so this is giving them the confidence to actually take action and put their best foot forward and do things in the right way. Um, because they do want you to look up to them. They want you to um, be proud of them. And that is kind of what this Six of Wands is about as well. Because he's like the, the hero and everyone's looking up to this person. So maybe they held back for quite a long time because they weren't happy within themselves or their life circumstances. Maybe their finances. And we have, I'm sorry that I took you for granted, the Four of Cups. So they feel as though there was a missed opportunity. Basically, they didn't feel ready to um, be in harmonious reunion with you in the past. But now I feel as though they've had a lot of realizations because you may have had to walk away or there was just a separation and they've been able to see things much more clearly and they don't want to miss out on that chance with you. They're hoping that you'll give them a second chance if that resonates. Okay, so let's look at the Our Eternal Love cards. What do they urgently need you to know right now? I can't sleep at night because I'm worried about our connection. How do we make it work? So this may be what the hanged man is also about. They're pausing to really try and figure out their way back to you, um, how to approach you, how to come forward or how to make amends if that resonates. Um, so they're having sleepless nights about this. They're quite anxious to make things work between you both. I was wearing a mask to keep you in my life. I didn't realize it was keeping us apart. So this goes very well with the Six of Wands as well. Sometimes this card can be about wanting that public recognition, but sometimes um, people put forward a false self or they wear a mask because they're seeking that validation outside of themselves, but they don't really believe in, in themselves. So they, they pretend to be something or someone that they're not. Um, that may have been what created a major issue and blocking your connection. They felt as though they had to be someone that they're not in order to impress you or keep you holding on to them. But you just really need them to be their true self. I feel that is what they have realized. And that is a major, major shift. Yeah, so it was a sense that when you first met, it was like the right person, but the wrong timing. We both have so much to learn and heal before we can align. So yeah, there was a lot of things you had in your soul contract that you both agreed to go through in order to, for ha to have that awakening um, and connect more with your true soul selves before you can come back into harmonious reunion so let's look at the romance angels oracle cards next what do they really really want you to know right now yeah look finances and career this is very interesting financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so yeah this person may have been struggling financially or they had some goals um 
for their career, they were seeking some kind of recognition, um, they wanted to get their finances or their career in order. What's their urgent message for you, please? Codependency. So there may have been a codependent pattern within your relationship, um, an unhealthy dynamic where you are both um, looking to each other to feel loved, approved of and validated and things like that. There may have been this need for you to go your separate ways temporarily to find your self-love because whatever we are within is what we attract on the outside. And so there was a need for self-love. There was a need to realize that your worth is not dependent upon each other or anyone outside of yourself. So there may have been a tower moment. There may have been a separation between you where the universe intervened. And it was so that you'd be forced to um, heal yourselves so that your union could be much more harmonious and free of a lot of the fears that used to be there so we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take and it's the boy reaching out um to the girl here so i feel the divine masculine is going to make the for the effort is going to come forward is going to express themselves to you is going to do things the right way this time around Okay, so let's pull some messages out of the bag next. So there was a fear of intimacy at some stage in your connection. And it was because of, again, that lack of self-love. So a fear of being truly open and vulnerable in case they got rejected by you. And we have chasing drama. So I feel like they have regrets because they feel like they created a lot of drama or there was a runner chaser dynamic and it created a lot of drama. But they want peace and harmony between you both. And all of the tarot cards suggest that that is what is going to unfold between you from now on overall. They feel lost without you. So, yeah, that is why they're having sleepless nights as well, trying to figure out how to come back together with you. So let's look at the divination dice. Yeah, I do feel there was a tower moment between you both with this storm cloud here it also reminds me of the three of swords so heartbreak there was a breakdown there was a lot of pain a lot of sorrow and it was based on or it happened because there was a lot of clouds there was a lot of illusions things where you both had to come to a deeper realization let go of codependent ways and look at that underneath this i'm noticing the sun there's and the sun appeared on that six of wands card as well. So clarity, seeing things clearly, a, a new beginning, a sunrise after the stormy night, so to speak. So they're trying to manifest a new beginning with you with this cauldron. This reminds me of the magician card. Um, they are much more stable within themselves. They have mastered a lot of things that they struggled with in the past. So... The Magician is the number one card as well. So you're coming into oneness. You're coming into a new beginning together. This person's really going to prove themselves to you. We have the Submarine. So this is really saying that... Um, because obviously submarines go under the ocean, water represents emotions and submarines dive really deep. So they feel very, very deep emotions for you. And they've been diving deep and discovering a lot of their shadow side and healing that and clearing that out. And that is extremely positive. So let's see what charms are going to come out for you today. Okay. 
Okay, so we have, oops, so they feel like they've made some mistakes. I feel as though they're, they're not like catastrophic mistakes, so these mistakes can be put right. They are going to wear their heart on their sleeve with this t-shirt with a heart on. They're going to be open to you. They're going to be vulnerable. Interesting, we have the diary which says secret love. So they may have been a secret admirer, but when they were alone, they were thinking about you a lot. Um, for some, it could have been that they kept your connection a secret. That may have been the issue. Um, but you're both ascending beyond the struggles. You're rising up. And again, we have the purse here. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person had some financial issues that they've put right and they're coming into much more abundance now. Your connection is moving forward in a really positive direction with this windmill here. It's like the wheel of fortune. And we have the camera. So someone may be into photography or someone's looking at they're looking at your old photos or looking at your social media, maybe communicating to you through photos, however that resonates with you. If you really want to know in depth how this person truly feels about you, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're $11.11. That's US dollars. Um, they're not personal readings, but basically I created a really powerful oracle deck where I channeled messages from the Divine Masculine Collective. So when you book a reading, I basically email you the very in-depth description of the card, which is about a thousand words in length. And I have some really amazing reviews on those readings because they are very in-depth. So please check those out. Again, they're called the Dear Beloved Message Readings. All the details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. Please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Tap the bell icon, turn on all notifications, and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number two. You've chosen the pink cluster crystal and this reading is your person's urgent love message to you. What do they really really need you to know right now? We're going to be looking into the tarot. We've got lots of oracle cards, tons of messages cards today as well as pulling messages out of the bag and looking into the divination dice and the charms. So stay tuned because a lot of information is going to come through. Okay so we have the three of swords in reverse, the devil in reverse and the Four of Wands. So I'm really glad that the final card is a really positive, stable, um, loving energy for you. So this person has some intense messages for you. Um, with the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Devil in Reverse, they are much more positive in the reverse position. So don't worry about reversals. Reversals can also be what's going on internally within them. So I feel as though there's been some heartbreak between you both. There may well have been a third party situation for some of you, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean that. Um, obviously, third party could be because there's three swords. And also the devil often represents toxic karmic relationships. But again, it doesn't have to necessarily mean that. It could mean that you've gone through a lot of triggering within your connection. The devil could be the, the wounds, the, the fears, the shadow side really coming up to be purged and released. This is their higher self speaking to you. Their higher self is saying that... These things, this pain that has occurred between you both is to break your heart open, like both of you. Because in the reverse position, it's like the swords fall out of your heart. So even before you met this person, many of you, and this may well be your twin flame, many of you and your twin flame had a lot of wounds that you were carrying around subconsciously. And the twin flame connection really triggers those up to the surface, to your conscious awareness, so they can be healed and released. 
Um, so the stories are about the mind and perception. And so it was, there was a lot of self-destructive thoughts. We, you know, before we awaken, we carry around the ego identity. The ego sees ourselves and the world through a certain lens. Our ego creates a lot of stories about our life and who we are. And we've forgotten you know, we incarnate with amnesia. We've forgotten who we truly are, which is our infinite soul self that incarnates in all lifetimes and all dimensions. And so um, this person's higher self is really saying that all these struggles, all this pain is really to get you to this position where you're releasing the chains, releasing those swords. They're falling away now so healing can occur. So this person is saying... The reason they're not with you right now is because they're still in this process of healing. But um, for the most part, you know, most of the healing has occurred. Most of the wounds have been purged. Most of the pain and triggering has already occurred within your relationship. So it's only a matter of time before you both fully heal and see things clearly. Because um, the Three of Swords has all these clouds. That's illusion. In reverse, it's like the clouds are going to dissipate. You're going to see things much more clearly. You're going to reach that light at the end of the tunnel as you're freeing yourselves from codependency. There may have been a codependent dynamic within your connection where you're both looking to each other for love, validation, approval, and basing your sense of self-worth on how the other person was reacting to you you know, based on what they were doing and what they weren't doing, atta subconsciously attaching a lot of stories to that that were very painful. So you're coming out of that now. And they want this marriage card. This is the divine marriage. They may want a physical marriage with you as well. This is the 1111 twin flame card, the four of wands. Four is about harmony, balance, stability. This is like the twin flame dance. You're coming back into much more peace. Um, you've both created a much firmer foundation within yourselves. A lot more self-confidence, a lot more self-love. Really, really powerful, really, really positive energies here. So let's look into some messages cards. All of the written messages cards are my own creation in today's reading so what is their urgent message for you yeah look wow healing is here this is the star card so your prayers are being answered spirit is saying have faith healing is occurring within you both it's transforming your connection into that four of wands into the divine marriage which which may well um manifest down into harmony in a physical relationship a physical marriage <clears throat> it could be that some are releasing an old partner some are releasing an old marriage because it was very codependent and they're moving towards you to have a really happy amazing connection reunion yeah look wow we have the strength card i am much stronger now and i feel this applies to both of you and you have this infinite bond here the eight eight is that infinity symbol again it to me it's like the twin flame number as well as 11 and 11 11 um it's saying you're mirrors of each other so you're both much stronger now and we have i can't let you go the four of wands so they're holding on to your connection um four there's another four here, which is stability. Four and four is that eight again. This is really, really amazing energies here. Okay, so let's look at the Our Eternal Love cards next. What is their urgent message to you? What do they really want you to know right now? Okay, so they're longing for you very deeply. I can't bear this longing. They can't bear the separation. So this is really giving them that oomph and that passion, that desire to come forward. And they will be. What do they really, really need you to know right now? can't get you out of my head 
So don't be thinking this person isn't thinking about you. Don't be thinking that they've forgotten about you. Because in truth, they can't get you out of their head. They're thinking about you all the time. But they, they feel like they've done some things in the past that they regret. I don't deserve you. I regret many things from the past that I can't take back. So they are worried that there's been too much damage and heartbreak and toxicity for there to be a healing, but the healing is here. The star card came out. So this may just be a few of their doubts. Um, and we have, I'm afraid that you're making fun of me to your friends. So when difficulties arose, when heartbreak happened within the connection, um, they're worried that you told your friends all about it and their friends were sort of bad mouthing you and saying they should move on from you. So there may be other people kind of involved um, and it's making them a little bit anxious. So let's look at the Romance Angels Oracle cards next. What's their urgent message for you? Yeah. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So yeah, stay positive. Have that faith. I feel as though they are receiving um, a lot of support from the divine so that they are also able to stay optimistic. They're, they are hopeful overall because they feel in their heart, their heart that you are meant to be together. So we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And I see that attraction as like the law of attraction. When you love yourself, when you know your worth, you receive that back. It mirrors back to you. And that will that is what is happening within your connection. Focus on loving yourself. I know you've heard that a million times, but it is so true. Do not base your sense of self-worth on this other person. If you are subconsciously, or even if you are aware that you're doing that, it's, there's still more healing to do there. It's like until you fully understand that lesson that your worth is not dependent on anyone outside of yourself, then you'll still be going in this kind of karmic circle with your twin flame. So what do they really, really want you to know? We have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So that could have been what created that tower moment in the past if they chose someone else. Um... But I feel as though that this could be for those where they're in another relationship. They're in the process of breaking down that relationship because they they want this new relationship with you. They feel this new love for you. Okay, so let's pull some messages out of the bag next. Safer in the status quo. Okay, so they may have, if they were in another relationship, they may have stayed in that relationship because they felt safer. It's what they already knew. It's what they were used to. It was their comfort zone. Or if they weren't, you know, involved in a third party situation, this could be that in general, they just felt safer in the kind of dynamic that you already had going on. I feel like you wanted more of a commitment. You wanted them to come forward, express themselves more, but they felt safer kind of hiding away because of the need to love themselves first. They're going through that healing. They're gonna reach out to you. They're gonna communicate with you. They're gonna express themselves to you. I feel it's a new chapter in love between you both. Karmic contract. So yeah, they may be in a karmic relationship or there was just karma between you both in terms of all the triggering that was meant to happen in order to help you both awaken. Your souls would have agreed on what was going to happen. Um, so let's look at the divination dice next. Wow. 
Wow, so we have the torch. This reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. Seeing the light, liberating themselves from the difficulties and the struggles. Um, they've shone the light on the darkness and so now they see the truth. This is also the Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning, really going for their goals. Feeling very passionate for you. They feel that intense longing and that is going to cause them to reach out to you. Yeah, there's been a major transformation within them and within your connection in general. We have the skull and the bone here. That's like the death card. So the ending of the struggles, the ending of the ego, the ego death in order for awakening, in order for transformation and a new beginning. Could be the ending of an old relationship for them as well. And we have the egg that's cracking. So yeah, this is about a rebirth, a new beginning. Something is about to open up and you're going to start afresh very soon with this person. Something is about to come alive in your connection. Okay, so let's see what charms are going to come out for you today. So we have the rake here. This reminds me of the Knight of Pentacles. Slowly but surely putting in the work, planting the seeds. It's an earthly grounding energy. They're really working hard to ground your connection. They could have had some financial issues or they may have been coming into financial abundance after a struggle with finances that may have been a distraction for them or maybe there was codependency in their old relationship because of financial circumstances but they're rising above that now there's powerful ascension with this hot air balloon and they may come forward with a gift um, when I see this ribbon, it's like your infinite bond. They, they're really seeing the gift of your relationship, your connection, um, and they don't want to let that pass them by. So if you really, really want to know in depth about how this person truly feels about you, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're $11.11. .11. That's US dollars. They're not personal readings, but basically I created a really powerful oracle deck where I channeled messages from the Divine Masculine Collective. So when you book a reading with me, I basically email you the very in-depth description of the card, which is about a thousand words in length in general. I have some really, really amazing reviews of those readings too. Again, they're called the Dear Beloved Message Readings. Please check them out. All the details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment. So please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Tap the bell icon, turn on all notifications and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye. Welcome to set of cards number three. You've chosen the green cluster crystal. So this reading is your person's urgent love message to you what do they really really need you to know right now we're going to find out by looking into the oracle cards we've got lots of um sorry we've got the tarot cards lots of oracle cards and divine messages from their higher self we're also going to be looking at pulling messages out of the bag and into the divination dice and the charms so stay tuned because a lot of information is going to come through Okay, so this person is struggling somewhat. We have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So this person feels extremely passionately about you. 
But at the same time, it's like they either don't know how to heal themselves or they're refusing to look inwards. They're refusing to heal because that requires an ego death. And subconsciously, the ego tries to defend against that at all costs. So in order for this person to really be free to come forward fearlessly and courageously towards you, they do have to go through that ego death is what I'm feeling. Um, and they're very afraid of that. I feel like this person feels extremely anxious in your connection. There could be an energy that they need to slow down. Um, they need to heal. They need to take some time alone. But it's like their energy is kind of racing around. It could be physically. But for many, I feel like it's in their mind. And they're very confused with the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is about illusions and confusion and options this person may feel safer kind of daydreaming about your connection because it also can be about castles in the sky and them not really taking the steps to ground their goals and their aspirations and this connection at this time but i feel it's like a veil of confusion because their mind is racing they don't know how to heal um they may be trying to distract themselves from this spiritual awakening because it's creating that ego death um and so yeah we have all the clouds here again illusions they're not seeing things clearly they may have many options they may it, it's almost like they have to fight their the dragon they have to fight that inner demon they may be tempted to work too much towards money and finances and external things they may be wearing a mask with you they may be staying in a tower kind of hiding away from you the snake is like they may be seduced by other circumstances because that seems easier subconsciously to their ego rather than doing the hard work of a soul awakening and actually facing themselves, facing their shadow side. So this could be an energy of this person racing in and out of your life. Sometimes you hear from them, sometimes you don't. So let's look at some messages cards. All of the written messages cards in today's reading are my own creation. So what is this person's urgent message for you? I feel like this is their higher self. Um, speaking to you okay so we have the world card you mean the world to them and it says with us there is no end so they feel like you have this infinite bond they feel like your soulmates or twin flames whether they know that label or not but the unfortunate aspect of this is that they may be taking your connection for granted because they feel like it's destined, it's fated, so right now they don't have to put in so much work to do their own healing because things are going to work out in the end anyway. You know, they may be kind of leaning back on that comfort zone a bit too much. But there is this recognition. What is really interesting is we have the fall here, so I'm going for it. That could be what this Knight of Wands is about as well, of course. They could passionately race in, they could make that decision to be brave courageous and really go for it because what is interesting is we have the world card which is 21 which is the final card in the tarot and then we have the zero which can be um come after the f the world card or it can be at the start you know it's not the ending it can be the ending but also it's the new beginning so um, with a work, the world card, it is saying that they are wrapping up the healing work. It may feel as though that they aren't doing anything and they are rebelling against the connection. And in a way they are. But overall, their higher self is helping them to evolve, helping them to heal in the long run um, so that they can be free of their fears and really take that leap of faith to go towards you. Okay, so yeah, look, we have, let's heal this, the Six of Swords. So they want to move your connection out of adversity and into that brighter future. They want to have that reunion. They want to come together. Six is the number of love. So they're, they're definitely feeling this love connection. But 
Yeah, there may even just be this energy of them taking it for granted because they feel like it's a given. Or if this is a runner chaser dynamic and you're chasing them, then they may feel like you will always be there for them. They don't have to come out of their comfort zone because you're validating them. You're always there for them kind of thing. So it's not really motivating them to do their deep inner healing work. So let's look at the Our Eternal Love cards next. What is their urgent message for you right now? What do you really need to know? Yeah, wow, the Seven of Cups came up. It felt safer to live in a daydream. I was scared of getting hurt. So this could be someone who've given you a lot of promises that they haven't delivered upon. Um, and... This may have made you very hurt, angry, frustrated, but I feel as though there's a kind of like a naive quality to this person. Like I said, they feel as though your connection is a given, that you are destined to be together. So they may have taken that for granted and felt like they could just stay in their comfort zone and, you know, keep putting off the healing work until tomorrow kind of thing. And they felt safer in some kind of dynamic. Maybe you were in communication in some kind of way, but they weren't coming forward forward they may, weren't ground in the connection having a, a deeper commitment because they felt safe and loving from afar um living in their daydreams their their thoughts their fantasies ah this is what i'm picking up as well four of swords in reverse is like they need to heal their heart but in reverse it's like a resistance to healing um and that's because they were staying in their comfort zone and they wanted to to, and they felt safer, like daydreaming, fantasizing about the connection, rather than taking that action and having to face their fears and wounds. Um, so yeah, this person has a tendency to daydream whilst keeping you at arm's length. I feel like they have intimacy fears because they're not loving themselves in many ways. And so they're afraid that you will reject them in the same ways that they're rejecting themselves if you're twin flames um they they fear and they feel like it's it will be you rejecting them but really it's a reflection of their own self-rejection and vice versa what do they really need you to know this one wants to come out you've made me closer to spirit and for that, I am eternally grateful. So in this connection, there needed to be a time of kind of like that seven of cups, kind of living in the 5D, having that escapism, thinking of the 5D, feeling uh, that telepathic connection, connection to the divine. So this person may, and it may apply to both of you, may have been quite ungrounded. Um, for a while in the connection but spirit is saying that served a really really important purpose that was to bring you both closer to your true soul selves and closer to spirit and closer to god and um having this faith in the divine but this person may have got a bit too comfortable um and kind of lived that connection through the like thinking or connecting with the 5d there's too much water under the bridge i don't know how we could ever come back from that so this person is worried that too much damage may have happened in your connection and they're worried that it cannot be repaired so they may have some reservations about coming forward in case you know you're not going to be open and receptive to them so let's look at the Romance Angels Oracle cards next. Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So I feel as though Spirit has been guiding both of you to release codependency because there was an unhealthy dynamic going on within your connection. Um, and there may, may have needed to be a separation in order for you to really pay attention to the things that weren't working out so you could heal and release them. Look, looking beyond the veil, looking beyond the, the illusions, this person may have needed to have a wake-up call because they didn't realise it was a red flag when they were just taking the connection for granted and 
um, kind of leaving you waiting around and not knowing where you stand kind of thing. <clears throat> interesting keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations maybe they didn't fully recognize your connection because you weren't typically the kind of person that they would go for or vice versa this could also be that you've kept an open mind or they've kept an open mind and there's a third party situation um so they may be worried that you've moved on from them if they are in another relationship, then it's because they need to be in that relationship at this time. It's part of the soul contract to learn things from that connection. I have to say that um, not all twin flames are destined to be together in the physical. And it's about, it is more about that 5D connection rather than a romantic relationship and so this could be that somebody needs to have an open mind and allow themselves to um, open themselves up to the possibility of dating someone else like a soulmate that may be relevant that may resonate for some of you okay so there's been a lot of fears about unrequited love um, I feel this has created a lot of drama. This person always doubts your love for them and I feel like you doubt their love for you and it's it's mirroring. Um, it's ironic. It's like because you both don't fully love or know your worth deep down, it's reflecting as this belief that the other person it doesn't love you and is rejecting you kind of thing and it's both mirroring between you both and creating so much fear and a lot of blocks so let's pull some messages out of the bag make you jealous wow so this is interesting this could be to do with that red flag this person could have been playing some mind games in the physical and you need to take a step back maybe you do need to think about possibly dating someone else um, because this make you jealous energy is very toxic and it's not for your highest good but this person is very much missing you we have I need you so they they're very much longing for you they do feel like you have this infinite bond maybe there's just more maturity that needs to happen karma to settle so yeah it could be a karma karmic relationship is happening for one of you or both of you or it could it more in general be the karma the soul contract the things you agree to experience and go through together um, as your connection unfolds so let's look at the divination dice next we have the fish this is very interesting this reminds me of one of the charms that I have and the fish is in the, the little tiny bowl, fish bowl and it's like the fish is looking outside of the bowl feeling really restricted going round and round in circles wishing, fantasizing, daydreaming of a better life outside of the bowl kind of thing outside of their comfort zone so this represents this person they are looking, it, it's like they feel like an outsider, perhaps they're looking at you from afar, they're hoping, dreaming, fantasizing about amazing, an amazing life and connection with you, but at the same time they're staying in their comfort zone. It's because their mind's going round and round in circles in those like negative beliefs about themselves, which are creating all of these fears within them. I do feel like you are going to hear from this person they may literally come forward and say I need you because this is the ace of cups they feel this deep love for you there is going to be a new beginning in your connection an expression of that love that love that's overflowing it's going to come through in terms of communication so 
So we have the magic beans here. This always reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk. So it's about ascension. The beanstalk goes through the clouds of illusion and up above the clouds. So clarity is coming into your connection. I feel like this person is slowly but surely beginning to see things clearly and no longer taking this connection for granted. I'm feeling inspired to really take that action and create that new beginning. So let's look at what charms want to come out for you today. <coughs> so the crown fell out. This is really positive. This is about self-mastery, the king and queen energy. It's a ring, so it's commitment. They want that commitment, but also it's like the crown chakra. Feeling that connection to the divine. This is like awareness of their soul, which is breaking down the ego identity, causing that ego death, so the soul can blossom and come alive. So interesting, we have the Wonder Woman. Um, and she has her lasso of truth. So this person sees you as very, very powerful. You may have tried to get the truth out of this person. You may have tried to get them out of their shell, but they may have been very intimidated by that. And it may have made them retreat even more or just become stubborn. It's two people outside, so this person may be a highly sensitive individual, an empath, they may be an introvert, or this could be you, but it's like they have a fear of getting close to people, fear of getting close to you, but their heart is very loyal to you, they see you as their best friend, I feel like you've always been there for them, you've been very kind, nurturing, supportive along this journey. interesting the christmas pudding so this could be something to do with great britain um you may have had something significant happen around christmas time we have the axe here so this is cutting the ties to anything that isn't serving from the past it's about clarity communication and we have the four leaf clover, which looks like the hearts. So this is like the wheel of fortune, your connection moving forward in a much more positive way, coming out of some kind of karmic cycle into deeper harmony, deeper truth. If you really want to know in depth how this person truly feels about you, please check out my dear beloved message readings. They're $11.11. .11. That's US dollars. They're not personal readings, but basically I created a really powerful oracle deck where I channeled messages from the Divine Masculine Collective. So when you book a reading, I basically email you the very in-depth description of the card, which is about a thousand words in length in general. I have some really amazing Amazing reviews of the readings as well please check them out the details are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment and they're called the dear beloved message readings please subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already tap the bell icon turn on all notifications and that way you'll be notified every time I release a new reading so thank you so much for joining me here I really do appreciate it take care bye